Yo, 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 what is going on? YouTube, it is your girl KP, and in this short video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to outsmart Radiant players using Game Sense to make the proper call. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to learn exactly how to apply this to your ranked and tournament games in the future. A lot of people think that the only way to take down Radiance or higher skilled players is through mechanical aim, but that's simply not true. Making proper assessments of a team's positioning and utility usage can set your team up for major success without having to rely on aim. In this example, my team Shopify Rebellion was up against some semi-professional players in the top 16 of a tournament called Valorant Sunday Showdown. It's a thousand dollar tournament featuring semi-pro and radiant level players. At the start of the round, I notice the other team has a full buy, with Raze Rocket and Viper Ult available. This round's pretty important, so I'm expecting them to either go aggressive off the bat with the rocket, or pop the Viper Ult early. So I make this call to my team. Thank yo, you. yo, I've got the call, I've got the call. So I still want to dodge. Yeah, I still want to dodge Thanks. this Everybody hold. 2-1-2, two, two. nobody die, nobody drop. We're gonna, uh... Late round, like literally 50 seconds on the clock, we're just running Shrek Swamp just late. Like, actually, it's gonna be so fucking dumb. We're gonna send three people right, through the way. orb late. <laughs> but everybody to stay alive right now. Revealing area. A 2 on 2 is a simple default that my team has practiced in order to hold and gather info. From this default, we gather that Viper Pit was used on A site and Selva burned his recon from A. We know from prior rounds that there is at least one player towards B and one player in the kitchen or mid area. Based off the information we had, I reconfirmed to the team that the call I made was the correct call. We ended up dodging the Viper's Pit by going through mid and wrapping the A-bomb site through screens. Before I show you exactly how this round played out, if you're enjoying or learning anything at all from this video, make sure to drop a like down below. It really helps me out. Here's a clip from the tournament showing exactly how the round panned out. Where did they choose to execute? It looks like it's going to be mid-presence. Maybe they changed their mind a little bit. Yeah, Shopify, we've seen that they are certainly no stranger to playing that much slower, much uh, more calm, cool, and collective play style. And they seem to be trying to utilize that hero rush down to mid and Empress pop as well. Coming out from Diana could be great. It's going to help them engage from the back of A site. Something that Fenrir may not be ready for. Viper's Pit is going to be clearing a lot out. Lori finds Wraith, though. This is a great opportunity now. The showstopper from Fenrir, a desperate move from Bazix to tie these numbers back up, but they're down and out! They're going to find nothing. As you can see by the minimap, the play works flawlessly. There's no defenders to stop this screen's push, and right as my drone clears the Viper's Pit and tags Soba, Diana and Lori are able to find the two opening kills. From this point, with the spike planted, the round is basically secured. We played a good post plant and cleaned up the round kind of flawlessly. A call like this can be used by almost anyone in a ranked or team environment. If you see ultimates or notice trends amongst your opponents, you should be able to make an educated guess and call successfully around it. If you try something out like this in your ranked games or in a team environment, please let me know how it works down in the comments below. I'd love to know if these tips or these videos are helping some of you who are trying to be IGLs or at least make calls in your ranked games. Finally, make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you like content like this, check out my other video I did on defaulting in Valorant. That's it for today's video and I'll see you fucking next time. Peace.